Welcome to our demonstration of Quick Surface. Uh, we keep improving our software. I would like to show you what it's new in our new version. Uh, we will start with the cylinder. What we offer now is that the cylinder, if we edit, has an option to be as a solid. So if it's a solid, it's a solid body can participate in Boolean operation, and also I can uh, move it and resize it to the size I want. In some cases, like this one, we may want to trim here and create exactly uh, the body. Whatever I do with the cylinder, I can drag it and, and hardly I can just uh, find the plane where it needs to be. One option is just to fit a plane here and uh, using the selection tool, for example, I get some uh, point here and we can fit the plane, but I'll show you what else we have. If we have uh, an area which is selected like a plane and when I drag the cylinder, as you see, it actually snaps to the best fit plane of the selection. The same thing I can do, you deselect and you select the other side and uh, which will define for me roughly the plane. And then I can just, when I drag, as you see, if you look at the cursor, it just becomes a um, it shows you that it snap in such a way you very quickly you can get precisely uh, snapping to the average points not only to a single point on the mesh let's move to the next uh, improvement if we have a file in the previous version as you see when you load the file everything is reconstructed so now with the new version if you load an old file which has been created it will go through the process and reconstruct everything but when you save it next time if I open the same file it just everything is cached and everything is uh, loaded much much faster another the other features we added in our um, new quick surface is actually the um, solid modeling which is really useful I will just uh, delete here so you can understand better so these are my holes here which is a cylinder and then I use the single plane here to trim this but we will do this in a bit different way I just delete and probably I don't need this uh, plane anymore I will just take the cylinder and as I showed you I can make this as a solid why I make it a solid? Because in this case we can use the boolean operations. Our main body here is a solid body. So in this case I can just select my base big body and then I can use the cut. The same thing you can do the combine or intersection between um, solids, which is a common practice in cut industry. So I'll, in this case I will just select cut and I just pick the element which needs to be removed from our body but to be more um, interesting I'll just take this and we'll create a circular pattern in our case it's uh, using this small cylinder here which we defined for that I can put the five instances I can preview and spread okay so again now I'll just pick my main body I can use the shortcut cut for my base solid and as you see it is uh, created again a solid body the beauty is you can right click and edit my pattern and I can create probably 10 instances when I press ok you don't need to apply the trimming operation now and everything is um, reconstructed so that's about our new boolean functionality and moving further to the next improvement I will just um, load an object which is um, looks like this one we created um, a cylinder here and now we want to reconstruct this and I will just use our where I will hide the cylinder and put it in top view so I need to reconstruct the body here and connect to the cylinder I will need to use the selection I'll use the select through option here and we'll take this part and now I will turn this off so I can just select where this will 
this part finishes here around this uh, to define the borders of my selection I have to do this manually although we can use the magic wand in this case it's much more precise if I just use the manual selection and this is my area I will just extend a bit more my selection here so we have something like this one this probably goes too far too much and I use the Alt key to remove this <coughs> in our previous version if you try to do this auto surface then you get uh, bad results well the new will show we worked on this and we spent time to improve this functionality I will use the auto surface here I check everything is pre-selected then I click preview So now we got the, our auto surface, as you see it follows really well the, the shape. But the good thing now with this new version is that these boundaries are much much smoother and they don't need really too much uh, further processing. So I accept this and I can, I don't need this to be selected anymore and I can go and edit my auto surface. In this case probably you can work manually but uh, we can do something else i will turn off the snap mode and we'll just take this with double click and write my clicks and more tools i'll just smooth a little bit to get a better um, definition of the boundaries then i can probably smooth the other level and now we introduced something which is called extrapolate it's an explicit functionality so i'll hide the mesh because I don't need it at the moment and I'll just show the cylinder and now I, if I just pick a boundary edge and start dragging control Z because this was not what I intend to do I'll just switch to extrapolate mode you can see the cursor shows the extrapolate um, symbols and when you just drag it uses the tangency to extend uh, the surface in this case I make it uh, drag it enough so it gets into the cylinder and as I look around I see that everything is inside the cylinder and then if I'm happy with this I can just press close so now I got my uh, intersected um, uh, surfaces one is a solid the other one is a surface and then I can move to the trim operation I just select the two and I select trim so what else we introduced now we technically what happened is that auto surface split the cylinder into two uh, pieces and the cylinder actually split our surface into two major parts I reset the trim we provide here a little notification which will actually tells you what will happen if you press ok and accept the trim if we leave it like this everything there will be four actual surfaces and this will be your result which is not useful so in this case I just hide my auto surface and click this one to be removed then I can swap and I can remove this and as you see now immediately I'll just press ctrl z to undo as you see it tells you it's a multiple seven it's a multiple surfaces but now if I just remove this one it automatically turns into solid boy this is quick and easy way to check that uh, you are going to create a, um, the desired result when you're ready you just press ok and the trim surface will be created furthermore the way we, we created this is actually press and space you can see we created this nice intersection and furthermore I can just click and select uh, fillet I can pick my uh, edges where they, the two surfaces contact and then I can just apply probably 0.5 millimeter uh, radius for the fillet operation as you see now it's the result is nice and smooth we press ok to finalize press space and you see we created a tangent transition between the two surfaces and also if we compare it's, the result is quite acceptable this is too tight and I can probably work with the 0.5 millimeter 
and this is what uh, we can get from our uh, reverse engineering. Moving to the next uh, feature of uh, Quick Surface, which will um, people will find really good, is what we call it natural trimming. So in many cases we may have situation like this one, or two planes, or maybe three planes, and you try to actually create a surface. The problem in previous version was if I have something like this, they will not trim, the trimming will not work, or if I do this, the big plane will trim the this one but i will not be able to trim the other plane so now we improve this so if i select the two and go for trimming we actually can extend this naturally and remove and generate a result like this one which is also suitable for filleting you can fill it and create your results I will uh, just delete this and show you um, another example. If we have a freeform surface like this one, I'll hide this plane. So if we have a situation like here, and even more, this goes inside, or maybe it goes out. In the previous version, this stream was not possible. Well, now it works. I'll just press and as you see this is extended so I can just remove this and press OK and here again I can apply fill it with our drag and you can see that uh, we, we, we created our fillet operation and we can create nice transition and if I take this plane also I can drag it, improve it as you see, and then you can get uh, different results. I will just delete this and show you, uh, hide this uh, plane. So even a bit more complex when you have three form, like this one, two frame form surfaces, or even three surfaces, you can just uh, take all of them, create a trim operation, it initializes, and as you see, naturally they are I extend and I can remove what I don't need, like these pieces, and at the bottom. And as you see, it, our software helps us and tells us this is a single surface, so we are happy. We press OK, and I got this. In this case, I need to flip the orientation so it's in the right uh, direction. Again, we can apply fillet, let's see if it will work here as you see it also creates a good fillet here and this is our flip piece and this is our final result